Okay, for this fifth and final episode in our series, we're going to take this high school notebook looking illustration and recreate it with our tools. And um, I'm gonna speed through it pretty fast, just kind of narrating over what I'm doing. And I'll slow down a little bit at certain times if I think would be helpful. Uh, for this first part, I'm gonna outline the, the, the text um, just to show you the brushes in action. I probably wouldn't do it this way normally. I'd probably use my pen tool to trace all the major shapes first and then go over the top with lines. But because I wanted to, to kind of show off what we've been working on, I just decided to jump right into drawing. And I'm just using the br brush tool in the designer persona and uh, going after them just organically. This style of illustration <clears throat> lends itself well to um, this type of work. And the, the tool we made uh, that we're using has kind of thick blocky ends and I kind of like to overlap them. So I will break up strokes instead of doing, you know, one, long continuous strokes. I want nice and ang uh, edgy angles. And I use the pen tool now to, to trace those little highlights in the word style. Those are gonna be a mask. Jumping over to pixel persona and just laying in some of our fun um, multicolored uh, brushes there. And then I'm going to be tracing that large shape in the background just to provide a flat color, but also uh, a, provide an object to use as a clipping path for some more brush textures we're, we're going to create in a second here. And I'm sticking with the kind of CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black um, is my color palette just because it looks kind of like the 80s and it looks kind of like, uh, you know, just, just bright and colorful. So here I am just slapping in some of these fun, again, fun textures. Uh, would I use this if I was trying to create an actual illustration for a client or something? No, probably not. But for our purposes, I just want, kind of wanted to have fun and, and just show you how to, um, yeah, just kind of play around and, and come up with a style. And again, especially with the vector brushes, using uh, them gives you a lot of flexibility to try things out and try some new approaches. For the skull, I went with a pixel brush, just again, just to highlight some of our tools. And would I choose to use all the tools we made? No, we made a ton of tools. <laughs> but uh, again, this is for our purposes, just to demonstrate um, how, how we could use this. Uh, hopefully you got, you're getting ideas for your own projects. Um, just trying to create some separation, breaking up those straight vector lines with some more of our pixel brushes whenever possible, just again, because this has that hand-drawn sketchy look. I actually ended up making another brush here and I'm gonna slow it down just a, a smidge so you can see those lightning bolts around the, um, the brush and pens there. And on the other side, um, I, I thought I'd just rather, instead of making them by hand, I would, I would apply them to brush strokes. Um, the first one I made was a stretch brush, which is gonna work fine for the small uh, brushes here, but on the other side, um, I'm going to end up duplicating that brush and pulling in the head and tail offset to create a repeating brush. Um, just because, again, when you stretch a stroke out or st stretch a brush out rather, it, it makes the whole thing skinny. If you are able to repeat a internal section, you can keep the shape kind of beefy, which I wanted. So there you go, nice and big and bold without even changing the size of the, of the brush stroke. Um, but the one trick is if you, if you twitch at the end, I, I'm using a tablet, if, I, if you twitch with your pen or mouse, the end might curl a little bit, so I ended up just using a pen tool to make an arc on this last one here and just applying the brush by clicking on it. <laughs> and you can adjust the arc, of course, as you like. All right here, I'm just adding some of these, uh, almost like a stamp, some of our pixel brushes just to create this look. I was initially gonna use some planet shapes, uh, but decided against that just to, just to use this to showcase um, this uh, brush tool that we used. Let them kind of stand out. I also took the star tool and applied a stroke with one of our brush strokes and uh, used that throughout. Here I'm creating the trail for the pencil and I thought it'd be cool to use the hatched mark brush we made and then I'm using that also to texture some of the other tools, again, to break up those um, more hard-edged vector lines. There's a lot more I would do if I was going to uh, actually produce this, and maybe someday I will make a more polished version. 
I wanted to apply the style that we made, so I made a copy of that background shape, shrunk it down using the contour tool, and then just applied the style. And I'm gonna do some just tweaking with the word arsenal to make it fit in a little bit better. Well, thanks for watching this series. I hope you've learned a few things. If you have, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to have more content like this. Um, and if you have any questions or maybe suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments. See you next time.